Come to town for the craft hall? This is their escape route. It'll have traps, but few guards. You might be able to use their defenses against them, if you're clever. I'll distract the guards at the front and make sure none of them escape. Good luck. I'll see you inside.
We're here. Not until you smash those mirrors. It'll keep them from tracking you all over Dalantarth. The Immortals inscribed their knowledge of fate into the Living Stone. I always thought it was a poetic way of talking about the theater. But there it is. In your hands. Keep it close, child. Good luck. The Undying Mortal has grown tired of running, has he? Decided to fight back? Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child of dust like yourself? We children of nature know our roles. Meek and mighty, prey and predators, life and death, all serve the cycle. You children of dust do not know your place. And you, you don't know when to die. You shall learn all mortals' end. At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflo. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're a mortal that survived death. You exist outside of fate. The Fae do not deal well with change, and you represent a threat to whatever has driven them to this war. And as much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Sheer up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you already met with her at the House of Balance. But it sounds like she's the only lead now. We should be able to get out this way. Your ballad was certainly impressive. One for the telling. Glynel, I assure you it's an ancient codex, just like in the tales. 
Intriguing. How may I help? Why would such a thing be revealed to a Welcome to the Summer Sanctuary, where the... I see you are a stranger and a mortal. I am green, and I possess the healer's warmth. Do you have need of my services? Have you been injured in your mortal war? Stay well. <laughs> beginning to think that you'd never show up. This is Glynel, Lore Master of the House of Ballads. Give the Codex over to him, and he may have your answers. Lore Master Glynel has devoted centuries to the study of lore and ancient Fey stories. Just talk to him, and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. Be on your way. You must be Lady Shear's friend. She speaks very highly of you. Occasion rare enough to be worth recording in its own right. But let's see this Codex. The fabled Codex of Destiny. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift. But why did it reveal itself to you? Nonsense. All children of dust have a story that is written before you see your first dawn. Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. I'm sure you think it is. I fear you must have been taken in by a forgery. A perfectly created one, perhaps, but a forgery nonetheless. This codex speaks of impossible things, changes to fate, death of the immortals, and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be... I'm sorry, but I must ask you to take it away. I will have no part in these lies. Is there a meaning to it? Only its author can tell you. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Glynel spends his life cherishing old stories. But show him something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. First of all, we ignore this fool. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. It will be difficult. His court is in the city of Issa. Very few mortals are permitted in its gardens. I do know one individual who can grant you permission to enter. But you'll have to meet him alone. Nirolem is a private person, and he carries a grudge against me. Although perhaps person isn't the right word for him, nor is him. You'll find him in southeast Dalentoth at Caer Nirolem. Just head towards the giant tree, and, well, you'll see. Good luck with Nirolem, and ignore anything he says about me. The hunger, they are a black
Well, the boots do not seem to have weathered the separation from their master well. Still, they are in hand as ordered. The Hierophant is pleased to have a thief like you in their service. It brings us power. There is a new task, but this one comes from me. Grim Onwig has not returned from a mission of his. I fear that he may have been captured. You must find Grim and return him to us. Grim is a close ally and a talented traveler. His safe return is your top priority. The Hierophant ordained him to steal an ancient book called the Missives of Sable from a stronghold held by Jotun. It seemed a relatively easy task. Jotun have no need of books after all. They are fiercely territorial, however. He was to go to Owen's stand in Lorca Rain, and you must hurry to him. Be careful. There is something unnatural at work here. May the wind be... Hello, I'm Lady Olaine. What do I call you? I prefer names to titles. Sometimes we here at the House of Ballads can get a little caught up in the veneration. Of course. You're sacral now, as it should be. Welcome.
When Hallam told me a mortal had taken the open seat, I did not believe him. But here you stand before me. Impressive. It is a pity about Sagra, a grand hero. But there's not time to raise the king's token in his honor. We need every hand carrying a sword for the coming battle. We've come to aid Sir Ferrara, our brother in the Court of Enchantments. It is time for his telling of the Ballad of Bloody Bones. Ferrara went in pursuit of his nemesis, for Bloody Bones has emerged, poised to abduct a maiden to be his mistress. So goes his song. You will need to revive Ferrara after the battle. I can only assume Hallam would not have sent you unprepared for this task. Go to Ferrara, and quickly. When the two of you finish, I will await you at the House of Ballads in the north. Do be careful, Sagra. Good luck. Ah! <laughs> 